Hey, hey, you let's have it here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist, helping you create healthy hormones, healthy body, and the life of your dreams completely naturally. Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism, what is the difference? And there's a lot of confusion going on in between the two, so let's talk about it. But before we do so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you never have to miss a single video from Ross and Healthy. All right. So if you've got hypothyroidism, first let me know in the comment section, have you been diagnosed with hypothyroidism? It's a huge problem. Millions and millions, millions of people in the world experience hypothyroidism and unfortunately a huge percentage of them don't even know that they have thyroid imbalances because they don't go to the doc doctor and they don't get tested. So what usually happens and what happened to me when I was back in my 20s, what happens to my clients before they come to work with me is that you go to a doctor, you get diagnosed with underactive thyroid. So your TSH is too high, your T3 and T4 is too low, therefore you've got hypothyroidism. And the doctor says, okay, so you've got low thyroid, let's put you on thyroxine medication or on thyroid medication. So you go on medication and maybe you feel a little bit better, but there is still so much fatigue, so much anxiety, so much hair loss, and it just doesn't seem to be helping you move forward. And there's like this exhaustion, this anxiety, this low libido, this, this, this loss of connection to yourself, to your power as a woman, because, because of all the hormonal changes, that your hormones are low, your thyroid is low, it's, it controls your metabolism, it's your master glands. So, you go back to your doctor, doctor tests you and he says, well, actually, you know, your numbers look good. So I don't know what you're talking about. And there's like this whole journey of frustration and I've been on it myself. And this is why I talk from my personal experience and from the experience of many of our clients. And it doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere, even though your blood tests show that all is fine. Well, you're not fine and things are not changing and improving. So let me explain the difference between Hashimoto's and hyperthyroidism and many people don't realize that difference and it costs them a lot of suffering so it's really a lot it causes a lot of suffering and it costs them sometimes lost you know lost relationships lost careers so in 90 percent of cases hyperthyroidism is Hashimoto's, is caused by Hashimoto's. So what happens is that Hashimoto's come, comes about first and then the thyroid gets destroyed and eventually hypothyroidism emerges. So by the time you go to a doctor, the doctor diagnosed you with hypothyroidism, you would probably have gone through years of thyroid distra distraction due to Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease, so your thyroid gland is getting destroyed. There is this huge war happening in your body and your body is, is on fire. If the antibodies are high, if the, the antibodies are suddenly above 200, then your body is on fire. It's fighting. It's fighting with viruses, bacteria, pathogens and whatever, inflammation and that starts to cause destruction to your thyroid. So. Hashimoto's thyroiditis does not get diagnosed by doctors. So doctors will, will diagnose hypothyroidism, but they don't routinely diagnose their patients for Hashimoto's. So when I work with my clients and when they come to me and they say, I've got, Hashim I've got hypothyroidism, first question I ask, do you have Hashimoto's? Many of them will say, oh, what's that? I have no idea. Or maybe they've heard about it before and they'll say, I don't know. Well, in order for you to find out you need to get tested you need to get tested the right way if your antibodies your your blood is not showing high antibodies then you might need to do an ultrasound scan to see if there is damage that is caused to your thyroid because your antibodies might not raise for years and yet that damage is is being caused to your thyroid so it's important to get diagnosed first to understand if it's Hashimoto's if it's Hashimoto's and not just hypothyroidism, then you've got a lot of work to do because Hashimoto's is a serious, it's an autoimmune disease. And what we know about autoimmune diseases is that they don't stop there. So Hashimoto's gets progressed to 
can progress to other autoimmune diseases, MS and lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune diseases are one of the top 10 leading causes of death in our world. It's important, very, very important for you to get diagnosed and for you to correct it if it's an issue. So if you've got Hashimoto's, you need to work on reversing it. The good news is that with the right lifestyle and the right diet, you will be able to do it. I've reversed my own Hashimoto's. I've helped countless clients do the same. And what I would encourage you not to do is not to listen to your doctor when it comes to advice on Hashimoto's because your doctor is likely to say, there's nothing we can do about it. Everyone's got Hashimoto's. Most people's got Hashim Hashimoto's. But this is absolutely not true because you have to reverse that autoimmune attack in your body. You can do it with dietary changes, so switching to whole foods, plant foods, lifestyle, low in fat. You need to look at the health of your gut, the health of your liver. You need to, to look at and identify if there are any different you know, infections and other root causes in, happening in your body. That inflammation is being triggered by something else, so leaky gut, for example. So repairing it all and clearing it all and changing, completely changing your lifestyle is something that can help you reverse Hashimoto's. Not only changing your lifestyle, but also changing your thoughts, changing your heart. And so emotionally you go through a journey. And disease is an opportunity for us to explore ourselves. And then once you've balanced Hashimoto's, you can think about improving the health of your thyroid. And I know many ladies who are on medication, so they come to us and they say, well, I want to get off medication. And the question here is first, how much damage your thyroid has gone through over the years? Is it, is it reversible? Is it something that you can do about? And second, have you reversed your own Hashimoto's? Have you reversed Hashimoto's? Have you corrected other health issues? Have you lost weight? Are you in your ideal healthy weight? And only then you can start thinking about talking to your doctor about medication and you always do it under doctor's supervision, right? So I've certainly, I've been able to reduce my thyroxine. I've helped my clients, I've seen my clients get off thyroxine, some of them under doctor's supervision, yes. And I've seen them do so even after a long time of being on thyroxine medication, but that journey has got to happen first. So you've got to reverse Hashimoto's first if it's the cause of your hypothyroidism. If Hashimoto is not the cause of your hypothyroidism, your hypothyroidism and it's just straightforward hyperthyroidism without Hashimoto's, then you also need to work on balancing your hormones. So you really need to strengthen your thyroid glands, you need to strengthen the, the, your liver, you need to strengthen your gut health, you need to look at deficiencies and address all these things in order for you to be able to experience that beautiful level of health. And ladies or gents, if you have thyroid imbalances, some, some men have it as well, I want to let you know that you have the power. The power is in your own hands. It's not in your doctor's hands. It is in your own hands and you can commit to changing your diet and lifestyle today. You can commit to, to taking a different approach to it all and changing and, and adopting a lifestyle plan that has been scientifically proven to help you reverse thyroid imbalances. So if you are in a place in your life where it's like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to commit to myself. I'm ready to invest into myself, into my health, into my future. I want to move forward. Then I would like to invite you to my free online masterclass where I'll show you the five steps to balancing your hormones and losing up to 50 pounds of excess weight without carbohydrate restriction. So the link for that is rossomhealthy.com forward slash webinar. I'll pop it in the description section as well. And I look forward to seeing you on the masterclass.